Hey, welcome back here on Custom Rigs DA and uh, DE. <laughs> Custom Rigs DE. Um, yes, today um, I try to speak English again, and yeah, because of my international followers um, that they understand what I say or I mean. And I think the German followers um, can speak English too. Some of, of, of us can speak English, I know it. Uh, and yes. Today, first video log uh, to the new project. Uh, it's called the Pint Pint Project Pint because uh, we uh, build in uh, or uh, uh, using um, a twenty ADTI Kingpin Kingpin um, from EVGA. And yeah, today I want to show you some details and the renderings I've done. All the uh, uh, metal parts, metal sheet parts uh, are still in the making now and one part I'll show you later is now exactly now on the CNC machine uh, by a friend and yeah i show you some details where uh, the parts are placed and yes have fun to watch okay so welcome here on my 3D rendering our 3D parts of the, my first case con. Um, I want to show you some details um, to this case I've made. It's an open frame case. Uh, um, my mate that uh, told me, built a case for me, um, said, yes, I want uh, to have an easy entrance to the to the parts, to the hardware parts, and yes, I've made a open frame case. Um, this open frame case it's uh, very powerful I think um, it can hold uh, four 480 millimeter radiators so there one radiator on the left side one on the right side and two radiators on the back side on the inside the airflow goes from here to here and from here to here so the air uh, comes out on the back side and never touches any parts of the system um, yeah here on the front, uh, the main board gets placed in this area here, and the I/O panel is up here. Also, the GPU gets placed here, uh, on, uh, not not on the regular way. I try to uh, to uh, mount a holder here for the GPU that you can see the nice hydro copper um, water block. Um, because of the cables on the upper side, uh, I've designed here a, a top cover for the cables that uh, will get a better shape on the whole case uh, you know what I mean and yeah in the front on the downside we have here two um, heat killer 150 D5 um, reservoirs with integrated D5 next pumps um, these two pumps getting connected in parallel parallel on the back side of the case Yes, the tubes go. The tubes going from here, from here to here to here to here to here, and it's getting connected on the back side. Um, this is the front panel with the power button here, the reset button, and here comes in the um, aqua computer aquero control unit, and down here we have a, a, um, a USB three uh, connector. Um, what I have to say, oh, what I have to show you, yes, these cutouts here should mine to the EVGA FTW design, what you know, in, uh, what you know from the GPUs and uh, other stuff from EVGA. Um, yeah, behind these cutouts here, or behind these cutouts here, we are putting some mesh, black mesh or, or whole grid and to match the look a bit more and I think this whole thing comes out really nice um, for the uh, for the uh, video and pictures I will do hard tubing to the parts but uh, the final case which uh, is uh, made for my friend uh, will get a soft tubing this EK ZMT um, ZMT soft tubes Yes, because he wants easy, uh, easy entrance to his hardware, easy exchange of hardware, and yeah, 
and it's just possible with soft tubes. But for this project logs and project video and pictures, I will do hard tubing. And yeah, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this small presentation. Oh wait, I forgot something about about the uh, measurements. Uh, how big is this case? Um, this case is in the height. We have six hundred. 617 618 millimeters and in the y white wise I don't know <laughs> if I spell it right uh, we have here it's not that small just we have here why five 600 around 600 millimeters here on this uh, on the white wise and the depth is uh, around 370 millimeters so it's a uh, yeah it's not that big I think uh, it's for four uh, for 480 millimeter radiators it's uh, not that big so I hope you enjoyed this small presentation here this little pr presentation I don't know how to say it uh, small or little uh, and uh, the tiny small little presentation uh, no um, I hope you enjoy it and stay whoa 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 wait 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 guys I forgot something <laughs> for this uh, for this project uh, I've made a uh, own CPU cooler top uh, with my own design uh, it's matching the design of the case and yes when I turn it around you will see which uh, which CPU cooler is uh, from which CPU cooler is uh, the base yes and I show you this yep it looks like a heat killer sure uh, right I'm using a heat killer bottom plate here and designed just the top around this bottom plate and this uh, CPU cooler top is right now in the making uh, my friend is uh, it's machining it now right now and sent me some uh, video material later which uh, I'm putting in right now after this uh, video part here I'm putting this in and you can see how the top gets machined Okay guys, also today is the day um, where the winner will be announced uh, from the giveaway in uh, the Fractal Design uh, from the Fractal Design Meshify S2 time-lapse build. Um, I used a ra random comment picker, YouTube random comment picker and the winner is, uh, wait, i show you. I take you with me. 
Wait a minute. Okay. Take it with me, and the winner is. Take a moment. Turn off the light. Yes, and the winner is. Oh. Felix Kupscher. I think he's from Germany. Yes, he wrote German. <laughs> German uh, in German letters, uh, German words. Um, yes, Felix Kupscher. You are the lucky guy. Have fun with the Meshify C um, and the Prisma L LGB fans from Fractal Design. Um, yes, please contact me, give me your address, and I think uh, you will receive the case and the fans uh, very fast. Okay, that was my first uh, video log from the PIN project. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the small presentation of uh, the um, rendering parts and. Uh, yes, I can say to you in the next uh, video uh, log, I will show you some nice, really, really nice hardware, uh, really, really high-end hardware. And I'm getting, I'm getting not so often in touch with uh, such uh, hardware um, uh, like the i9 uh, 9980XE or the 2080Ti Kingpin. Um, uh, around this project, I will do some more videos like. Um, the 2080 Ti Kingpin unboxing, also um, 2080 Ti Kingpin conversion, comparison, uh, hybrid cooler versus hydro copper um, water block, and I think think there there are coming some interesting things for you, and yeah, and so I say thank you for watching um, this first vlog here, and see you later and sub my channel. Goodbye.